Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to uh, another video, uh, 317 Hockey Breaks here. Uh, today we're going to go through some of my favorite cards that I have in my collection. Uh, but before we do that, I want to explain a little bit about who I collect, uh, what teams I like, and stuff like that. So if you can tell from the background, uh, I'm a big Predators fan. I love Pecorine, um, who's currently on the Preds right now, Philip Forsberg, uh, one of their top scorers. So I'm a big Preds fan, really like the Preds, and that's the main team that I PC. The main player that I PC, you can see right here, is uh, James Neal. Sadly, no longer with the Predators, but uh, I still PC him. I still love him as a player, and I do watch him uh, every time I can. And as well, the minor team league I have around me is the Indy Fuel. So uh, anything to do with them, uh, if I see a player from the Fuel go all the way up to the NHL, I really like following their careers and trying to collect um, their cards. And fun fact, actually, James Neal's younger brother, Michael Neal, actually played uh, in Indianapolis here. So that was really cool getting to watch him since, since um, James is one of my favorite players. Uh, so with that being said, let's just get right into some of my favorite cards in my collection. Uh, first up, pulled recently, we have the Lafreniere Young Guns. Um, one of the best Young Guns pulls I have pulled. Uh, hopefully he turns out to be a really good player. I did pull uh, Quinn Hughes and Kale McCarr. I believe not on camera, but sadly I sold those, so I do not have those to show. But yeah, first up, a recent pull, we have the uh, Lafreniere Young Guns. Next up, um, just a card that I think is cool, pulled recently as well on the channel, is the Phil Kessel game jersey. Um, Phil is just a unique player, uh, as you all know, and I think this is just a really cool uh, UD game jersey. I really like the design this year with the stick with the uh, jersey being part of the stick there. So yeah, Phil Kessel, got to have him in the collection um, of some of my coolest hockey cards. Next up, another one pulled on the channel is the Svechnikov Young Guns. One of the best Young Guns from this set. Uh, really solid player, and I really like the design of this, uh, this card here. So we've got an Andrei Svechnikov Young Guns on the Hurricanes. So, yep, that's the next one, and we'll move right along. Uh, the next one, not a super good player, super well known, but it was my first one of one pull, and it is the only printing play I have. It is Kevin Stenland from the Blue Jackets. Um, I do kind of PC the Blue Jackets a little bit, but um, this is just my first one of one pull, and it's a printing plate, so I just think it's a really cool card, really cool to have pulled a printing plate, because as you guys know, they're uh, pretty rare, rare, but yeah, that's from... Um, can't remember what is that from I think it's from SP Gain used is what I pulled this out of like my first box of that I bought but yeah Kevin Stenland uh, printing plate uh, moving along another one pulled from the channel completely unexpected I got this from retail is this Tyler Toffoli rookie auto uh, jersey from Panini Select so as you can see there it's numbered 136 to 199 um, Really good purple swatch there. I like the foily card. Um, the Just a little auto down there. Not the nicest auto, but uh, a solid player nonetheless. Uh, I really like the purple Kings jerseys and the purple swatch there. I think it's just really cool. So all around, I think it's just a good looking card with the auto jersey. And it's a rookie card, so you can't beat that. Tyler Toffoli there. Uh, moving along, as I mentioned earlier, James Neal is one of my favorite players, and I'll kind of group these two together. These are two of just many of the cards I have um, of James Neal, but right here in this hand, we've got the James Neal RPA, number 187 to 249. Um, obviously, he was drafted by the Stars. Um, as you can see here, you can barely see it, but it is a three-color uh, patch there, green, gold, and that white. Uh, but I just think this is a really clean card of my favorite player. It is one of my favorite cards that I have of his, but yeah, James Neal uh, RPA from the Cup. And then this other James Neal card that I pulled out is just uh, an autographed Future Watch. Future Watch is always a really nice card. Not the highest grading on this one, only an eight and a half, but um, yeah, I think it's a really clean card. Um, I think his uh, signature there, not the best signature, but it is centered. Uh, if you guys can see here, it's 779 of 999. But yeah, just a, just a cool card. Really love James Neal, and these are just two of my favorite James Neal cards in my collection. 
Uh, next up, again, I mentioned I collect the Preds earlier, so we'll move into some of that stuff. Here we have a Ryan Johansson Future Watch Auto, number uh, 596 of 999. Uh, Grade to 9.5, a lot better than the uh, James Neal uh, grade there, but yeah, really cool. Um, Cool looking card. I really like John Hansen on the Predators, and uh, yeah, that's all I really have to say about this one. Just a graded uh, Future Watch Auto here. So, moving right along, we'll go to uh, this next one. Is a lot of cards, but um, I'll show you guys all. It's uh, the only nameplate I have a Dante Fabro Draft Day Marks um, nameplate. Uh, maybe I'll try to throw a picture of this in all together. I know it's kind of hard to see, but uh, yeah, we've got number 25 of 35, 19 of 35, 15 of 35, 2 of 35, 3 of 35, and 34 of 35. So kind of just grouping all of these together since it's, I would consider them all just one card, but really cool, I think, to have a nameplate of a player. Dante Fabro, he's not the highest scoring defenseman, um, but I really like him as a player, and I PC uh, a lot of him. So, yeah, a Dante Fabro nameplate. Took me a while to get all these together, but really happy to uh, have all these. So, yeah, just a full nameplate there. Uh, moving along, next card up. One of my first cards I bought, actually, um, really cool card that I really love is this 6 Auto um I'm not really sure how you would say a six-way auto from Panini Contenders. We have, obviously, my favorite goalie, Pecorine. We have uh, Magnus Hilberg, Colin Wilson, just who just recently retired. Um, Mike Fisher. I love Mike Fisher when he played for the Preds. Chet Pickard and uh, Jonas uh, Rask. So not a ton of really well-known players, but Pekka, um, Colin Wilson, and... Uh, Mike Fisher, three uh, awesome autos there. I really like Fish's auto there. Uh, um, Pecorine, I have a few of his autos. I believe this is the only one I have in this video. Um, we actually have his uh, rookie card, his future watch in the background there. Not auto, but yeah. Any card with more than one auto in, on it, really cool, even though all the players might not be the best, but this is just a really clean looking card of six Preds players that I really like. So, moving on, next card, uh, another one pulled on the channel out of SPA is this Marks of Distinction. Had to pull this one out because it was a big trade, recently traded to the uh, Winnipeg Jets, but Pierre-Luc Dubois, number six, uh, 16 of 25, Marks of Distinction. I had never even seen one of these cards um, until I pulled it out of uh, SPA. So, just a really clean looking card, um, just a little auto there, but yeah. Low numbered of a really good rookie who has a lot of potential, and I think he will do really well in Winnipeg. So we've got a Pierre-Luc Dubois, Marks of Distinction on him. And moving along to the last card, my favorite card in the collection. Um, I did pull it um, in the one of the first couple videos on this channel um, from a random pack of artifacts, but how could we have a video of some of the best hockey cards without... The great one, Wayne Gretzky, numbered four of five, um, auto. It is a sticker auto. I know it's a little hard to see there, but yeah, this black numbered four of five, Wayne Gretzky, auto. Super clean card. I cannot believe that I pulled this out of a loose pack of um, artifacts, but this is by far the favorite card in my collection, the most valuable card in my collection. Um, just this Wayne Gretzky auto. Really clean auto. Low numbered card. Super awesome. I think I saw one of these sell on eBay, but other than that, this is the only one I have ever seen. Um, so yeah, really clean looking auto. I know there's a lot of Gretzky autos out there, but yeah, we have to put him in the video here. So that's all I got for you guys. Um, some of the cards in my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, let me know what you guys want to see me uh, open up on the channel. Thanks, guys.